Hey guys, so Super Wazza here. Welcome back to another Thursday stream where, yes, today we're going to be taking a final look at Skyrain and Galvatronas coming to the game now. They are literally just come to the game this minute, hence why I was slightly late starting the stream. i just sort of seen a couple of the chats. I've got the chat here, sort of looking at the updates. See it going through. I was like, I have got to just go and do that there quick. So yes, yeah, Skyrain is in the game right now. If you haven't gotten guys, just close the game down, reopen it again, and Skyrain will be there, ready to upgrade. Finally, finally. So, been a manic day today uh, for me, especially as well. I'll explain a bit later on, but a manic day. It's been a manic couple of hours uh, in Discord as well. Wow. Um, we'll go into that a bit later as well, but we're going to talk about the new bots coming uh, at the end of this saga as well And a couple of things that I do know from playtests that I'll sort of put forward We're going to be talking about Sky Rain. We're going to be talking about Galva Tronus as well having a look at them uh, We're also going to be looking at the massive announcement that hit in the Transformers Earth World official stream today and It proves again that what it is right and was was right to tell you guys some advice and we'll talk about that and we'll find out who in the chat who's been listening to that advice and who's gonna reap the benefits come hu18 and sadly who hasn't and we'll find that out later on but yeah but first let's have a look who we've got in the chat today so <coughs> andy swales is first in the chat then grind time then Kill Cannon, Penny Lancaster. Thank you, everyone, for being members. Much appreciated. Don't forget, guys, all the Platinum members going for a draw at the end of October for a $50 gift card. So you've got to be in it to win it, guys. You know, as a Platinum member, you can also get a one-to-one -one with me. You get a sneak peek just by being any member, even though, you know, the basic membership, you get a sneak peek at content that I'm creating. You can put requests in for content as well. So all those sort of uh, nice little uh, things. And you get some nice emojis in the chat and a nice little, uh, you know, color name in the chat as well and you get like uh an emblem depending on how long you've been a member as well to show, show off so you know lots of little nice perks guys being a member so uh you know consider it but the most important thing guys is obviously subscribing that's the best way you can support me it does not cost you a penny and that's why it's the best way guys you know all it takes is you just click that subscribe button click that bell and never miss another stream or video ever again Cool. We've also got Esclahossi in the chat. We've got Chris Harmon as well. Uh, how's it going? We've got uh, Mitchell VF1J. We've got Lord Avix. We've got Ricky Lau. We've got Chip Cox as well. Thanks for joining, guys. Uh, D Deck 76. We've got Carnage McKnight. We've got uh, a lot of talk about new combiners, but they are here, I promise you. Uh, we've got uh, Richard Trinder as well. We've got Itachi Chula as well. Thanks for joining, bud. Uh, who else? Uh, Joshua LeBlanc as well. Stay Puff, what's up, brother? Thanks for joining. Uh, Old Spot Phil. Um, Brian Leonard. Who else? MD Prime. Thanks for joining, bud. Isaiah G. Generic. We've got Stan Tarvin. Thanks for joining the stream. We've got Luke. How's it going, bud? Uh, Terra of Titano. How's it going? Thanks for joining again. Uh, e Rods, welcome. Uh, Br Braden Melton, hope I got that right. But thanks for joining, bud. Much appreciated. Uh, a few new faces because we've got some obviously big news. Uh, we've got Avengers Up Five. We've got Action Whale. Welcome back, bud. Not seeing you in a while. Um, Ninja Master Builder, Daniel Evans, Silbot ninety four. This chat is huge today. Uh, Sir Reaper as well. Uh, Chris Lewis, my good friend. Thanks for joining, bud. Ecto Gambit. Uh, Joker as well. Just Elite. Meta Bear. Uh, Ronald Van Holland. Simon Hayes. And I think that is everyone. <gasps> a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Yeah, but, you know, thanks for joining, guys. Much appreciated. I get that. So, some people just like to put the stream on, sit in the background, chill. You know, I get that. But, you know, I appreciate everyone for coming in and just, you know, saying hello. Thanks. So, yeah. So, obviously, the big news is Sky Rain. That's the big news that everyone's been waiting for. <clears throat> Let's be honest. Three things we've been waiting for. 
Skyrim, New Combiners, Fort Max, New Titans, HU18. So one down, two to go, and not long to go, guys. So we've just obviously finished with Skyrim, but I say we finished testing. I'll talk a bit about that in a minute. Um, Fort Max, we've just started testing, so that'll probably be the next thing to come with HU18, and we'll test that next and cannot wait but before we do start i want to just say there's been a lot of bugs today a lot of bugs in discord and it would be sort of the complaints have been flying in and i get they're trying to do a big update and they're clearing things up but my days have been some bugs so ios users couldn't get in Blue stacks is not working at the minute, so if you're trying to play on blue stacks, it's not working, guys. Even I'm locked out of my actual account, so today we're on a test server, but I've had to, I've had to play on a phone. It, it, honestly, like, come on. Um, and then MDS was showing level two upgrades, but then disappearing, and then the apes have gone right. We'll we'll sort that out, so you can upgrade to level two, but you won't see any benefit in terms of uh, HP and DPS. Then Skyrim wasn't there, now now he is there, and Bots were disappearing and devices were going slow and honestly there's been so 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 many uh, bugs it's been crazy and I get they are doing a lot of updates all at once but the question you got to ask is why do it all at once then I mean I'm not a programmer I can't really say but it just seems like they've done one massive push and everything's just flying all over but it was the same for us on the test server so when we got Skyrain and Galvatronus all the combiners disappeared but just invisible and then some combiners were animated as part of it then Quintus was showing blue dots all over when I thought was that Fort Max I, I can't remember honestly there's so many bugs and I get it's been a bit of a nightmare for them but because of that we haven't really tested Skyrain we got him a couple of weeks ago we put our thoughts forward and supposedly the apes have made some changes to him so if you remember my last stream, I showed the stream. I showed him in the stream. I said, "Listen, it's not going to stay like this. It's massively overpowered." So they clawed it back, and then we said, "Listen, it needs a buff." Now they're telling us that it's been buffed, but they forgot to push that update to the live test server. So how it works is they've got their own server, which they develop the bots on. It's so that we don't know what's coming yet, even us. We don't know. So they're on that on that on their server at their end. Um, They'll obviously have maybe the next six months of content like HU18 on there and whatever else. And then when they're happy with whatever they're producing for us to test, they push it to the test server. Then we will test it and then they push it to the live server. And that's why some things go wrong sometimes because the test server is not exactly the same as the live environment. The test server is not exactly the same as their environment. So things do happen. Um, but supposedly they've made some changes on their end. And they've pushed it to the live server, but not pushed it to us. And we're still not sure whether it has or not. So, even now, we're going to show Skyrim. We're going to show him in all his glory. But it could be better than that, maybe. It could be the same. Um, we just don't know. And I sort of like, you know, I did complain a bit in Discord today saying, you know, it's, it's not really fair on content creators that we're ready to create this content. And if you remember a while back, I used to stream on a Wednesday. And I changed my whole schedule to Thursdays. Just so that... This would not happen anymore. So I can say, right, listen, I know this content I'm going to be showing on Thursday is finished. And then SG Jetfire happened. Well, we know what happened with that. It, it was still, it was like Saturday and it was still being balanced. And I wasn't happy about that. I was like, listen, this is not fair. Blur it happened where it was still Friday and they still made some changes. And my video was, I said it was an awful bot. It didn't have enough health and didn't have enough range. Then they changed it all and made that video pretty much irrelevant and they sort of done the same bit with Skyrim a bit maybe they have maybe they haven't you know but I just said that, you know and they have said that their schedule has been poor and they need to sort of improve a bit um so fair play to them at least they sort of said that you know they are going to work on it but you know this has been two years maybe in the making you know where the schedule has been really poor and I think they've actually realized now that the scheduling needs to be better uh and their communication with the testers as well so hopefully that will change going forwards I really do um but yeah, that's the uh, big news that's been happening today. So, that aside, let's have a look at the actual news about this weekend's event. So, bow week grind, our week nitty bong, we're in week two of the saga. Um, 
And this week's event is called Cease and Desist. It's an Alliance Totalizer. Just 500,000 points. So it's only, what, 12k per player or something? Very, very um, easy event, guys. Uh, everyone should be completing this. You know, I remember me and my Jake a while back. It's like four. Maybe, you know, maybe. It's got about three five stars, I think. Two five stars, something like that. I, and he was scoring 15k, you know, 10, 15k. So. Uh, HQ 14 so it's a very very easy event guys um, so in this week's event you'll get a sky rain or galvatronus crystal depending on your faction now it can be a dupe but let's be honest a one out of five chance of getting a four star is not that bad uh, but then you also uh, get 50 sky rain or galvatronus crystals which also contain the bot and chance for four star as well. So listen, if you're missing two bots for Skyrim for four star, you could, in essence, get them in this event this weekend. So you know, it's a pretty good event. I'll give them that. I do like this event. It's a nice short event. It's good for players to actually get the combiners. Um, it's a good chance to you know get the missing four stars. Not everyone will. Most people get dupes, but you know there is always that one person. I love seeing that one person that's one bot away. And they do this event and they get it and you know and they're free to play as well and you know that's really i love seeing that you know when someone is that lucky so uh yeah good luck honestly at getting the the missing four stars this weekend guys um and then uh, you can get a g1 air oh this is a mouthful a g1 aerial g metal power core chip a g1 aerial gold power core chip and six gold power core chips. So they did the, the was it gunner ones the other week. Now they're doing aerial ones. So yeah, the, you know, it's not bad. It does narrow down the chance of getting you know a certain um, G metal power core chip that you want. But then again, if you're only missing one and you're missing a warrior one, well then if you just had a normal G metal chip. You got more of a chance. But yeah, anyway. But yeah, listen, it's all right. I don't mind it. Uh, then 200,000 combiner spark. Obviously, because we've got a combiner event. So that's important for your combiner to level it up. And 150,000 spark. Uh, also, we've got a four-star... Well, 1,500 four-star shards. So a four-star crystal. 7,500 three-star shards. 20,000 premium crystal shards. So all in all, a pretty good event. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on board with this. As you can see there... Uh, it's an even if you don't finish the event, you can still get the four star crystal at 105k. Every single alliance in the game should be reaching that 105k. Even if your alliance is half full, you should be reaching that. So, yes, definitely make sure you get that four star crystal. And then you're getting the uh, 10 crystals uh, every, what is it, 100k, something like that. So 20k, 65k, 135k, 235k, 340k. You get the idea. So yeah, really, really good. Impressive. Game update and information. Well, here we go. So yes, this is the last update before HQ18. So it sounds like we're going to get Fort Max and HQ18 both at the same time. Which, If it's anything like today's release, it's going to be interesting. Um, but it implements the groundwork needed for HQ18. Uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be telling you a lot more what's to come. Uh, speed improvements and clean display. We mentioned the other day uh, in my other stream uh, that the apes have cleared out 40,000 less file, which obviously increases the uh, you know speed of the game, reduces the RAM required. So good uh, move on their part. I like these sort of quality of life updates they're doing to help people in the game. So yes, very cool. Much impressed with that. Uh, and yes, layouts should be in the game right now as part of the update. So I've actually just used it on a test server. I've got a couple of different base designs. And uh, yeah, definitely going to be using this on the live server. Absolutely cool. Well, 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 well overdue. Um, so I decided that you can save two base designs. So you can have your current base design, two save designs, the third slot uh, you have to buy. So I'm all right with that. I'm fine with that. Listen, you can save two and you can have a current one. So, you know, you can save these two and then still change your current one and keep that. So you got three designs there that you can keep. So to be fair, that's, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, they've also got new tool tips. So in the tool tips, you can now see the cost uh, of the uh, ability to tell you if it's... Um, 
if it is electrical or fire. They've got a little uh, little emblem now to tell you that. And I was told this would have not been on the live server, but it looks like they have put it to the live server, so pretty good. So you can actually see the stats of your bot. So it's not just a playtest thing. Uh, it's actually going to be in the game. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. They've also introduced a dispatch mission refresh. So I'm still not happy with this. I've already said that, you know, it's not just a refresh, it needs a rework. For me, the XP needs to stay as it is, but the point requirements need to be lower. And the reason for that is that, you know, I had a quite a high one in my account. And it was like um, 750,000 XP. So I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty good for my low level bots to get them up to level 50. I like to level them all to 51. And I put about four or five level 40 ish bots in, and it got to like. 8,000, something like that, six, 7,000, something quite low. Because I'm not going to put Spark in them yet. I've just got 11 to 51 ready. So it's like, right, I need to put some higher bots in. And it worked out, like I needed 24k or something. It worked out that I needed like 3 or 4 war bots, pretty much. It, or Zen bots. And they have be gone for a week. You know, that ain't happening. That is not happening. That requirement is far too high. And yes, alright, people are going to say, yeah, but you could put all your war team in there and get, you know, 70,000 XP each. But then you're doing without your war team for a week, so fair, good luck doing that. You know, who wants to put their war team in these, you know, dispatch missions? I doubt anyone does. People are going to put fringe bots in, bots they don't use as much. So bots that aren't in leveling teams, bots that aren't in zen, you know, zen teams, not teams, but you know what I mean. Used for zen, uh, not in war teams. What does that leave? It sort of leaves you sort of 50 to 55 bots. Them sort of range for me personally. Anyway, bots that I'd not really use in Zen. Bots that I wouldn't use in leveling teams. Bots that I wouldn't use in Wars. And they're the bots I want to level up. Bots that I don't want to power level. They're not good enough to power level, but I can do as a little side project. So the requirements still need bringing down. I said like, yo, I like this. It's all right. But the requirements still need bringing down. So that's, that's my fix. I think it needs personally. Uh, it's also the uh, Beast Wars 25th anniversary, so they're bringing out some pretty cool bundles with uh, Beast Wars crystals, Beast Wars chips, Beast Wars chests, and some spark. And then you've got the Super Beast Wars anniversary bundles, where you can only buy one of each. Uh, and these ones have obviously the five star shards in them as well, but pretty cool. Um, so the Beast Wars character crystals contain. Ultimate Ultimus, Ultimus Primal, Beast Wars, this is the main one, Beast Wars Prowl, Beast Wars Silverbolt, Beast Wars Ironhide. So, if you are missing one of the four stars for Bag the Boss, these are pretty good bundles to get. You've got a good chance of getting them. So, just keep that, you know, consider that, guys. Uh, and then Cheetah, Tiger Hawk, Rhinox, and Dinobot. And there's even some bots in there. Tiger Hawk, we talked about this on the Tiger Hawk versus Swoop. It's probably better than Swoop if you've got it, if you haven't got the four star leveling from zero. Cheetos better than uh, Beast Wars Prowl. Uh, Rhinox is amazing. Dinobot is good. So there's so many good bots in there that, you know, there's at least seven bots in there. Forget these two at the top. Optimus, Optimus and Primal. Just, just forget them. Forget they weren't even there. But the rest of them are really good bots uh, for one reason or another. So, yeah, really, really good uh, bundle. Uh, the chips that with it, if you get a Transmetal Rhinox, you've hit the jackpot. Anything else? Eh, maybe not. But just say you can get a 2, 3 or 4 star Rat Trap or Air Razor or Vertebrae Tombot, which are both good combats. So it's, you know, it's not a bad bundle, to be fair. Uh, and each Beast Wars chest gives you a chance of getting combat shards and 5 star shards as well. So yeah, pretty good bundles on offer this weekend, not bad. And then, as I said, we're going to be testing the new uh, combiners, Skyrim and Galvatronus. So, it's been a bit of confusion on who is in each. So, it is Skylynx, Trailbreaker, Hound, Wheeljack and Smokescreen. We'll go through the uh, abilities uh, shortly. And then, it's Astral Train, Mindwipe, Blitzwing, Cyclonus and Acid Storm. And Acid Storm will be in crystals from today, supposedly. I say supposedly because there have been that many bugs that it might not be. But supposedly... Is in crystals, so yeah. And then obviously, uh, support your content creators, guys, especially me in the newsletter. Uh, but yeah, uh, go and support your content creator, guys. Uh, there's a link to all the content creators' channels our DJ Heart, NJ Hoist, Grand Time, and Soldier, and myself. Go and check those channels out at the very least, and uh, you know, go and give them a sub, guys. You know, it's the least we can do.
Um, community corner. Uh, some good. Uh, what's to say? Drawings and I put this is pretty cool actually because you know Jacob plays mind wipe and to do that must have took quite a while. I mean maybe not maybe just if you're me it'd take quite a while, but I can imagine that took a long long time. So uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive that someone's gone to them lengths and I think that's like a glass front uh, where the matrix is. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they've got a drawing of Cosmos which is not too bad, but then this one obviously a lot better. Very, very cool. So, bug fixes. <laughs> bug fix. Bug fix. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, bug fixes and improvements. Uh, Metroplex and Trypticon, they fixed Titan Assault, Titan Perks, and they are now showing as intended. Uh, are they, though? I don't know, because Fabian said maybe they shouldn't be, because some people done Titan Assault, some people haven't, so I found the ones that haven't. So, maybe he hasn't done that yet. I don't know. We'll find out more soon. Uh, but Titan Spark, the cap for Titan Spark is now 1.5 mil. It's showing 150,000 uh, Titan Spark. And some people are saying they had more than that, maybe, I think. And they've lost some. Listen, if you've got any problems in the game, guys, send a ticket in Space Ape and they will sort it out. But you can imagine right now, I bet they are getting tons of tickets. So just keep in mind that it might take a while. But get in there sooner than later. Um, and then they've added the wallpapers to the wiki, so go and check that out as well. And then we've got the when we, when week two of the saga, and then we've got the one million point event next weekend for the new titans. So, yeah, can't wait to see what that brings. Then we've got the individual totalizer for prime core shards the week after that. And then week five, we've got the new bot. I believe it's going to be the same as the uh, previous leaderboard, where it's a bot for scoring maybe three and a half mil. But they have said the apes that they're looking to reduce the score from two and a half mil. Was it two and a half mil to two or two mil to one and a half? I can't remember. But they are reducing the four star, which I'm really pleased about because the feedback last time was that the four star was slightly too high. And even people like myself that were having a bit of a chilled weekend said that you know. Uh, it's a twin twist. I'd have probably gone for the four star if it was 500k lower. Um, but did it in the end and didn't get him. So, you know, I think the ace stood on board and gone, you know, we could afford to, you know, drop it a bit and try to get more people enticed into doing that. You know, so, yeah. But uh, really, really looking forward to, um, yeah, Ooh, seeing the new bots, skids, and knockout. So, skids is one of the bots that I wanted to see and. Dale has been in the chat asking us, saying, um, we're going to be a gunner to the game. What abilities would you like to see? So we've all sort of pitched in different ideas and different abilities. And I think no doubt they probably took a bit of, um, you know, a few ideas from that. And um, it'd be interesting to see where they go. Because there was some good ideas in playtest, to be fair. Um, some I didn't agree with, some I did. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Um... But yeah, look, it was some good ideas in playtest that we sort of talked about. So it'd be interesting to see which one they pick up on and how it turns out. So um, yeah, uh, Skids and Knockout coming to the game end of this saga as five-star bots. And there could be more as well to that. There could be even more, which I don't think I can say yet. But all I'll say is it's going to be something they have not done before. Gonna be crazy good. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be interesting. It is. But more to come from that. And the big news for me is Space Ape actually said in stream and told us what Prime Core shards are going to be used for. And that is they're going to use them for Prime Cores. And you're thinking, well. What, he got prime cores, was I? What are you talking about? You're crazy. Prime cores on defenses. I did not see that coming. Honestly, like, when they said, say, prime core shards, I thought, I'm going to do it. But mm, what if it's something rubbish? But you never know. You never know. And, you know, we do these things, and I tell people, listen, save this resource just in case. I said that about Shanix. 
then they just brought out the G Metal Core. I was like, well, well, it's kind of worth it. I get some defense core. And I've done it about this and that. And I said, listen, save it, guys. You know what's coming. And these okay things have come. But this is huge. Prime core shards on defense. It's going to be crazy. And I've just written a few quick notes down on what I think personally these will come out. We've done no testing yet. I've got no idea. But I've just written down a few ideas what I think will happen. So the idea is that you put this on one defense and it will affect something. So the first one, my Cronus. I imagine that will be like a healing billboard in a big area. So it will heal whatever defenses are near it. So... The healing billbot, I took a bit of a back seat at the minute. They're not very powerful. But you add them onto my Cronus. <whistles> that's some serious healing. That's a bit hard to take down. And that's where Slingshot comes in, you see. That's where Slingshot is anti-healing. Could be a really good bot in this meta. You really could because the next core is Alchemist. Alchemist heals for damage done. So the more damage they do, the more they heal. No, more healing. Then we've got Amalgamous, which heals and increases damage. More healing. So all his defenses are going to be healing all over the show. All over the show. Is it in an area? Is it just one? We don't know, but it's going to be a lot of healing, it sounds like. Then we've got Quintus. And, you know, Yanis did sort of mention this in the stream where you're going to kill a building and sharks pop out of it. That's going to be crazy. Absolutely crazy. We already have it a bit in the in the test server in terms of like testing new war effects. And we tried the sharks in the past. And we're thinking about doing them again. They always get asked for. But that's going to be crazy where I, I'm hoping like 10 sharks pop out. I really am. A random building. So that's going to be really cool in terms of, you know, um, war attacks and planning your attacks. Because uh, it's not a case of just taking that defense out. It's when to take it out as well. Um, then we've got the age. Will one bot get hacked as soon as it goes near a defense? One of your own bots gets hacked. Vector. Will one of the defenses come back alive again? So once you destroy it, it comes back at full health again. That's going to be interesting. Uh, primer. So bots take extra damage. So if that defense is hitting you, a bit like glass gas, your bots will take extra damage. Onyx. Boost defenses below 40%. So maybe at 40%. It sort of boosts an area. So if you sort of don't kill a... Say on the MDS, you're just knocking it out to 30%. Then it glows maybe and boosts an area. That'd be really cool. And then Solus, obviously dropping turrets. I'd like to drop... Not just one turret. I'd say one turret like every 10 seconds. Turret after turret after turret. And you're like, listen, I need to take this out pretty quick. And it changes your focus. And I like that. The only two I'm a bit, a bit baffled about is Nexus and... Um, Oh, what's the other one? Where we'll get your points back? I forgot now. There you go. I wrote it down. Oh, uh, Alpha Trion. So there you go. They're going to be a bit hard. Alpha Trion and Nexus. So how are we going to do that? Because Alpha Trion is about ability points. And is it going to take ability points off you? If you destroy that building, you lose five ability points something? Minus five? I don't know. It's a bit weird. Uh, Nexus, is it going to... If that defense is still, uh, you know, on the map when your combiner drops, is your combiner going to do less damage? I don't know, there are a couple of hard ones, but yeah, just can't wait for these. And put in the chat, did you save your Prime Core Shards? I said this months ago, start saving your Prime Core Shards now. There's going to be a use for them. So put in the chat, did you save your Prime Core Shards? How many have you got? Personally, I've got 20k. I don't want to finish them events, because I'm not going to lie, I didn't go all out on them. I was like, yeah, I'll do like 15k or something like that. So I'm about 20k, but most people can be about 25 to 30k, maybe more. Depending when you started saving. But yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting. So uh, let's see, go back to the chat and see where we're up to. Because there's been a lot of uh, a lot of chat in the chat. A lot of chat in the chat, of course. He got a lot of chat. Um, let's have a look. Chris Harmon, I know who you've been mentioned in the stream. Yeah, I did say to Dale, I just said to Dale, listen. It'd be good for the age to say, listen, go and check out the content creator streams, go and check out this guy, go and check out this guy, and, you know, it'd be good to say that, not just my name or NG Hoyts, but everyone's just saying, listen, go and check out their content, you know, and the apes should know their content creators and who does what, you know, like, I know that Grand Time's done a massive um, uh, series on combiners recently, you know, that's his big thing, and if you want to see any power leveling videos, he's your man. I know that NG Hoyts does a lot around toys, I know that that um, 
uh, our DJ Hart and FPS Gaming. I know that they do the podcast and cover a lot of the news in the game and do a lot of crystal opening videos. You know, I know that Soldier does all the exclusives. Do a good job of them, especially with the short videos that not a lot of people do. We've all got our own little niche. You know, they, then they should know that. You know, and who to direct to. But uh, you know, it is good to mention in the stream. You know, uh, Citadel. They need to sort of like you know, start, you know, fight our corner a bit and increase exposure a bit. Um. Chip Cox, uh, thought you wore the other day, had to beat your base on normal, couldn't on hard. Yeah, it's a good base, I've changed it again, you know. We were talking about this, quite funny, saying like, uh, who was it now? Grind time, was it in the stream? I can't remember. And someone was saying like, oh yeah, I've just copied, copied what's his base. Um, and so in war, I'll be able to beat it. It's like, good luck, because I change it every week. <laughs> um, what else? Um, a 51 chance, yeah. For getting the new combiner, very good. You're missing one bot, yeah. Obviously, missing two is more chance, but yeah, it is good. Um, <laughs> I forgot the passion of the pear tree, yeah. I think that offers normal. There's not as many um prizes this one time, yeah. Um, William Walker has just combined Sky Rain, yeah. I've just put mine in for the four star, so straight away. Um, yeah, so Gambit, yeah, Blue Stacks is down sadly, but yeah. Um, Fort Max has shown up too, nice. <laughs> James Olivia, how's it going? Uh, thanks for joining the stream. Um, we're still missing the most important part of the update. Power levels are still yellow. Ugh. Uh, Chris Harmon. Are you a Skids fan? Anything G1. Anything G1 I'm a fan of. I'm not a massive Skids fan. I'd still rather see Beachcomber. That'll be the day for me when they bring Beachcomber to the game. And I think I should decide his ability. Just because I'm a massive Beachcomber fan. I've been banging on about it for a long, long time. You know, I was banging on about 8 Face for a long time. And he sort of came to the game. And, you know, and I'm still saying hardhead a bit. But I'd love to see Beachcomber. We've got to see Beachcomber in the game. Um... Future starts with missing four star hound. Hound's a good part as well, to be fair. He is. I'm loving my four star hound now. Um, Pen Lancaster Skyrim is going for level five already. Nice. Um, William Wilson needs four star trailbreaker and hound. You never know. You never know. Wimbledon, well, the healers one will not be that hard to get. What do you mean? You mean the. Uh, what do you mean there? That's put. Do you mean in terms of the, the prime cores? There's a lot of healing cores, so let's be honest. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bricks Motion, my game is broken. Uh, it's unplayable. Uh, if you are on iOS, then send a ticket. They are, do know some people can't get in, and they are looking to uh, fix it. Uh, if you're on Blue Stacks, though, then even mine's unopenable. I've had to use mine on my phone. So even I'm stuck on uh, blue stacks, but uh, Dale's gonna hopefully have some sort of fix. But you gotta remember, guys, keep that in mind. That I did say a while back that the spaceship are not supporting um, emulators anymore because it's too easy to use hacks. So if you are on an emulator and you want spaceship to help you get the game on blue stacks, sadly they are not going to help you. They are not going to help you gotta start try and do it on your own um I, and even i don't know how to do it even i can't get on right now so even i'm stuck guys um but i'm sure that content creators will get something some help off them because we need that to create content but we're the only people that they will help in terms of blue stacks so just keep that in mind that they don't support uh blue stacks and emulators at all sadly <clears throat> uh victor started but it is there if you got the parts it is there uh, Bricks motion, my game doesn't even open. Are you on blue stacks though? Mine does that. I click it and it just goes black and then off again. Black and off like dead quick. Uh, and won't load. Um, Dinobot is godly, Ecto Gambit says. Oh, I won't get that far. I wouldn't, honestly. Check out my rating videos. He ain't godly. Um. Uh, I'm kind of curious if Skyrim and Galvatron have good outpost spots. We will find out tonight, won't we? Um, yeah, Grand Time's got four star because one and a half mil. It was two last time. Thanks, Grand Time, for clearing that up. So, yeah, one and a half mil. 
Uh, knockout is from Transformers Prime. Yes. Um, and they picked the winner for those who chose the right bots they use. What? Do what that means. Not gonna lie. Um, Volcanic is anyone else the Omega Supreme really stiff? Yeah, it'll be a bug as well. Loads of bugs. I'm no doubt. Someone reported that on the test server, so yeah. Uh, all you need four star Skylinks. Good bot as well. Skylinks is a good bot as well to have. So, 12 what is it? I thought it was the 11 Prime course, is it? Yeah, because the 12 one is Prime, is that right? Or is it 13 is Prime? 12 is Prime? I can't remember, but yeah, there's. Yeah. More. Yeah. Uh, do you know it's got 24,000 Prime Core shards saved? Nice. Uh, 24k for MD Prime. Good, good. For Kanika, 17k. Good, that's what I like to see. Um, Vector on the HQ part. I should put, oh my god. Imagine that. I would have I would have five healing build bots behind it. <coughs> and, I, and then Vector on the HQ with the shield gen right at the back somewhere. <laughs> Um, Penny Lancaster, can you imagine an MGS that came back after you killed it? That's brutal. I love it. I honestly love it. I really do. Um, <clears throat> Megatronus on. Oh, Megatronus! Yes, we forgot that one. It is. Yeah, it's twelve. You're right. Apologies, Megatronus. Yeah, so it bursts fire out. It needs to be a good ranger, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Paul, that doesn't sound fun at all. It does. It sounds great. Um, next, could Bush could buy an Alpha Triangle could Zap ability points. Zap ability points. I don't know. Is that ability points? I mean, it hits a hits a bot. No, because that bot doesn't carry him. I don't know about that. Um, are the Prime building cores going to have the same abilities as the bot ones? Supposedly, yeah. Supposedly, roughly the same. As it sort of said. And people shocked on what? Prime core of billbots? Yeah. Um, but there will be new cores. So now you can take your current core, that's a bot core. It'll be a defense one. So it'll be the same bot. I imagine it'd be a square. Because you see the, the bot ones are circle, aren't they? The defense ones are square. So yeah, it could be interesting. Penancas has got 7,500. Oh, you should have saved more than that. Should have saved more than that. Grand times on 25k. Because you've got to think as well, some people will be lucky. But if you've got 15k and you're pulling three, you got three out of 12. I get three. You might get Nexus and Alpha Trail and something awful. I don't know. So the more you've got, the more chance you've got. You know, a lot of people with like 13k, 15k, keep saving them Prime Core shards, guys. Keep saving them. Kill Cannon still say chasing Prime Cores. Yeah, then Prime Cores are good on attack. I've always said he should. Prioritize attack over defense. So you're not doing wrong. You're not doing wrong. So yeah, keep getting them prime cores. Um, yeah, Jeff McCurdy, you got to keep at it, buddy. Honestly, listen. Honestly, like you know, listen. I know that like you say like a bit of a conspiracy theory and all this, but you just got to listen to them streams and really take note. And when they say we are going to use X for something, save it. Honestly, and I always said my big philosophy is if you don't need it. Save it because the economy goes forwards, things will get more value as they bring more uses for stuff. So, you know, let's be honest, I've got most of G Metals on my base. There's only a couple that I need. The chances of getting one out of Prime Core defense uh, cores is slim. I might as well save them. I started saving my months ago. Um, Terrace Town has got nearly 5,000 shards. Well, yeah, yeah, well, if, you, well, if you've not got Prime Cores, then save them, uh, use them. Uh, get them prime cores, but if not, then start saving for the uh, other ones. Um, Remember, but sure, uh, we rate my build for fourth side of Saurus. Put it in the bot rinsing. So, uh, Grand Time's got a lot on at the minute. I know he's a really busy guy, um, but yeah, eventually we're gonna do some bot rinsing. So, go on my channel, check out the bot rinsing section, and then go and check that out. Um, Yes, Ninja Master Builder. I have to go through the chat. We're going to look at the new combiners. Um, what are they patched? It, they removed Skyrain. What? 
Because I got here early or something. Nah. Nah. I'll have to look at the game later on, but nah. Um. Yeah, Beachcomber's got to have some sort of Golden Lagoon ability on it. It's got to. Got to. And obviously Hardhead. I love Hardhead, but yeah. Um, but Warland, they, they haven't broken blue stacks. It's not them, it's Google. So it's it's not the 8s of air, but the 8s won't help you because they don't support blue stacks and they never really have, but they definitely won't now because everyone that's hacking the game is on blue stacks, sadly. So they have, they did say months ago that they won't support blue stacks anymore. So it's sort of expected, really. Uh, ah. Reaper, how's it going? Good to see ya. Um, and this well has got 1,700 prime cores. I have only one prime core. Oh, you need the prime cores, honestly. You definitely do. Definitely. 59k prime core shards. Really? 59k? Wow, that's crazy. Right, well, anyway. Let's get into the game and have a look at Skyrain and, um, yeah. Cool. So, we, let's have a look at Skyrain's new, uh, new stats. Now they've changed them around. So have a look. Where is there? There he is. So yes, very very cool. Uh, we did show him the week in the uh, in my sort of exclusive look, but you can go and check that out. It's quite a short video, guys. But yeah, very very cool. So again, when we showed him last time, sort of taking out HQ 18s, pretty much. It was kind of crazy what he was doing. Uh, but let's have a look at him again, and we'll also we'll put him on defense after that as well. Let's do this. So let's go on uh, easy mode first. So obviously this is a like a zone 15 hard zone 15 base. You know. Um, Ricky Lau, will you show a sneak peek of Fortress Maximus and Scorponok? I'll do better than that. I will show you Fortress Maximus and Scorponok. How's that? How's that? Um, here we go. Let's drop. I tell you what, let's get rid of these first because I've I've set a new base design up, which I will talk about. I'll talk about that as well. Why I've done it. And you can see there, look at that nice little blue dot to Quintus. <laughs> and this is why I like my base design. Get rid of this and then, uh, cool. Then we can go up there. So I won't use a Titan, I'll just leave a Titan over there a minute. So, how I believe this is how, how the ace said you should use Skyrim. So, pure damage, no after death ability, and like that. So, put his force ability down first, then rush in. Doing damage. Why well, he's got his invincibility from his four star ability. Then do some more damage. You can see there, look, his health is not moving. It's still up and now it's going down while he's done all that damage. And we should get one more ability in, I believe. Can we? It's kind of a kill box area. There we go. Quite a big uh, area sort of got rid of. Pretty good. A lot of damage done. So what, what you tend to find with Sky Rain is that he does a huge damage in a big area. So it's kind of like a bit of a... If you've got some cleanup bots, it's really good. Because once you just do like, you know, one sort of sea spray through the rest of the defences, then it should pretty much take more, you know, most defences out. 
so there you go yeah so sort of do huge damage with sky rain all over the show and then get your bots to sort of clear up so but no after death abilities you know we did say in the playtest chat that uh you know we would like to see you know an after death ability but we never got it um fixed motion the question is is he better than magna boss Ooh. he's not far off he's not far off i wouldn't say he's bad combiner i wouldn't say he's better than omega though i wouldn't say he's up there with omega but he's definitely up there so let's uh let's do some but so the best way to judge this is doing some zone 14 battles because i can normally take you know um i could normally take in magna boss uh to zone 14 and destroy most of the base and then just have one bot sort of clearing up which we've saw in you know my streams where i've done sort of zen farming so uh let's take a look So a really spaced out base. Uh, is this? No. I want to take it into Zen farming. Because then there's no Titan. Uh, we have asked can we have some events. Like a, a never ending event on the test server. So we can test it in a proper environment. So you know. But uh, whilst doing the. We'll go to the bottom. Just put a few bots in, doesn't matter who it is really, just bots that can solo or such. Let's go again. So zone 14. Big Sassy is probably the third best combiner. Uh, maybe. It's a bit different than Magna Boss. So Magna Boss's third Magna Boss's three star ability does more than Sky Rain's. So you get more uses out of that. But the four star ability of Sky Rain definitely does more damage. Definitely. And look at the range as well. The range on it is ridiculous. So we're really good for Zen farming to get in them sort of back areas of the bases and you know things like that. I can see there. Look, it's just invincible. If you take a big area out. Then, good night. Boom. See, look. Perfect Zen bot. Maybe better than Magna Boss because it does more damage. I just think he's lacking an after death ability. You know. Magna Boss has got that with the healing at last. Um Defensor has got that with the shield. Um And then, you know, uh Oweg Supreme with lightning bolts and all the sort of latest combiners have got an after death ability. So why not this one? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, just to sort of clarify that um, only the test server is working because it's not Space 8, guys. I can't say that. It is Google that has put the block on any uh, games on any emulators. It's not uh, Space 8's fault for once. So, yeah. So, again, going to let him walk up a bit. Got a huge damage in this area here. Uh, air out there. Wow, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's not let's not uh, kid ourselves. That is pretty good. If you compare that to Magna Boss, that's probably more stronger than Magna Boss. Then there's no healing involved, so.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> that's just cleared out of zone 14. So, that's maybe a bit more than Magnaboss would do. Or at least on par. So, yeah. Pretty cool. And, um... Yeah. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> Just that saber. I can't wait to spend 20 weeks leveling before using. The apes have said that they're going to look at reducing that time. They really have. So, hopefully, you know, hopefully they have. Um, let's look at... Can I get it on? Yeah. Look at the con account. There we go. Cool. Let's have a look at Galvatronus. It is a uh, off sync. I don't know what's going on here. Actually, it's a bit, uh, a bit weird. But this here. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. What's going on? See? Bugs everywhere. <laughs> well, that was weird. But hey, we're back. Cool. And then, let's have a look at... Galvatronus. There he is. Cool. It's obviously a bit different having more airbots, but yeah. Really, really cool. And then we'll also have a look at Galvatronus in action as well. Cool. So we'll have a go with him and then we'll put him on defense and see how he goes in defense. Look at that. Those are cool in pictures. The cons are so much cooler. Ninja Master Builder, the era of Galvatronus is here. <laughs> yeah, the cons do have better colours. The cons are cooler. No doubt about it. So you see there, the cool different emblems. So let's put the five star ability down. Five star ability, I mean the four star ability, sorry. Cool. See, that's where I think the damage is wrong for Galvatronus. Maybe I'm wrong, who knows. But that is a lot of damage. A lot. <laughs> Which has cleared out half of HQ18 base. HQ17 base, sorry. So, pretty powerful. If he stays like that, that's the big question, though. Is he going to stay like that? That's the big question, isn't it? Let's be honest. But yeah, super, super cool. And we'll take Galvatronus in zone 14 as well. Let's have a go. See what he's like as well. Like I said, there's confusion because I believe that Galvatronus takes uh, more of the base out than um, the Sky Rain does. So I'm not too sure which one is correct. I'd imagine Sky Rain is more correct. Let me see. Yeah, I 
Fox the bomb. That's wicked cool. It is. It really is. Here we go, Galvatronus. The cons have all the cool combiners and stuff. They really do. Wow, that is stupid. <laughs> I don't imagine that's a finished article. That is ridiculous. <laughs> very, very cool. So we'll do, we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll put him on defense and see what happens with his abilities. I imagine that ability is ridiculously strong. No, I'm just going to wipe out your team, but I can't imagine it stays. But in the meantime... So here we've got Cryptogon level 20 and here we have got Scorponok in all his glory. So sadly we can only get Scorponok to 3 star level 6 as it is currently. But his current abilities, so the stats are subject to change so they could change a bit in how much each one does. That's where the testing's going to come in. But these abilities will stay in what they do. It's just the damage they do will change. But at the minute, uh, we've got kinetic energy, so swing your pincers. <laughs> pincers? I just found that funny. Uh, and create a wave of pure kinetic energy dealing 1,344 damage over a large area. That's a bit like uh, Victorian and Minotaur Sword. It's a bit similar to that. We can, again, we can show it, but yeah. Um, Thunder Strike. Hit your enemy from above and deal 3,360 electrical damage. Then we've got Eye of the Storm. Create a powerful electric storm. 5,018 damage to your target and 2,038 damage to nearby targets for 6 seconds. Then we've got Line Bombing. Don't forget this 5 star is way, 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 way ahead. We'll see this for a long time, but... You shoot your opponent, dealing 1,120 damage to all targets on the way, and 3,306 damage to your final target. And then, obviously, the abilities up to now. So we've got Piercing Beam. So that will uh, is attack ability. Uh, we've got Damage Reduction, which is similar to the current one, current uh, the current uh, Titan we've got. We've got Attack Ability. Um, every 12 seconds, you smite your targets. We've got a uh, possibility 20% melee damage increase, similar to the current one. Um, a possibility your Titan spawns a decoy every 15 seconds. I've not had a chance to actually test this yet because I can't get my, my uh, Titan to level 8, but that's going to be interesting. That would be good to see. A hollow one on the map. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. That's good. I like that. Um, when defeating a Titan, you provide EMP effects, immunity to your allies. That's pretty cool. EMP immunity. Um, every 12 seconds you find an anti-EMP beam that deals 1.20 electrical damage to a single ground target and has 30% chance to disable the target for 5 seconds. Uh, possibility, 20% reduction from beam damage for you and your allies, that's pretty cool. Every 12 seconds you create a tunnel dealing electrical damage. So, as you can see, it's a lot of electrical damage. That's what I'm noticing. And the Fort Max is at the same. A lot of electrical damage. And I'm not sure how that's going to work in. Because we've got sort of like lightning rod cores which prevent electrical damage. So I'm not too sure. I'm not too keen that they all got electrical damage. And that might change in testing. That's going to be my feedback. That they need to reduce the amount of electrical. And change to fire maybe. Or change to something else. Uh, to give you a choice to balance it out. But yeah. I love the hollow idea. That's really really cool. And there's some uh, you know. Really cool ones there, really cool ideas. Some very similar to uh, Metroplex, some slightly different. But yeah, very, very cool. And then looking at the Titan Tree, there's going to be some new things coming to Titan Tree. Again, these sort of, these, these values might change. But we're looking at the explosive decoys, uh, increased protection, 
Uh, ambush, enemies attacked by your Titan's EMP receive more damage. And Spark Rejuvenation, allies it affected by your Lightning Burst regain health. So just uh, four new things. There's nothing um, on the attack perks and nothing on the defense perks for the tech tree. So just those four. And that is it. So yeah, you know, really looking forward to, uh, you know, these uh, new Titans coming to the game. HQ18 and the new combiners as well. But uh, let's have a look at um, Scorponok in action. And there he is coming in. Chase Francis is for put your energy on. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. Let's have a look. Let's go on base trials. Oh, actually, let's give him some abilities. Let's give him some abilities first. Uh, Demon Dog. Sadly, the new Titans are not available yet. It's just a test server. They'll be available at the launch of HQ18, I believe. Oh, Manuel Villacorta, thanks for subscribing, much appreciated. Um, same for everyone else, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button now. Right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> cool. And let's have a look at him in action. There we go. Uh, Bricks Motion, I believe that when you upgrade for HU18, it probably just appear. I think. They said there's going to be no campaign for it. Campaign was to unlock Titans. Uh, but I believe there's going to be no campaign for uh, Scorpionok and uh, Fortress Maximus. All the new uh, combiners. Look at that. Scorpionok against Scorpionok. So let's just, just put a healer down. There we go. Cool. <laughs> like he's shaking his hand at him. <laughs> Pretty cool though. So that laser beam coming from his knee. Again, these could change, you know, these little things. That's a bit weird, it's coming from his knee. That needs to change. These come from his centre console or something, not from his knee. Yeah, it's coming from down there. That that'll probably change the visuals there. We'll hope for that bit of feedback I think from us. Let's have a look at this on the base. Don't forget he's a three star level six, don't forget. So not bad, not bad. You know, he's half killed that already at 3 star level 6, so... Can take out a billbot, what do you reckon? Can take a billbot out with this? Oh. <laughs> I reckon a 3 star level 7 or 8 will be able to take that out, I reckon. Take a billbot out. But like I said, don't think they're underpowered, guys. It is a three-star level six. And remember when we got these guys first and they were, you know, they were like this, basically. So it'll still take a long time before we're using these guys on, uh, unless you're going to upgrade it and coin it. Because uh, the apes have said that they're going to be a way for, uh, you know, fast-tracking these uh, titans by buying bundles with titan spark in them. They have said that, so you'll be able to fast track it. But you know, you can still use Metro, but if you want to use Scorpion or Fort Max, then you got a long slog ahead. Can you win? There we go. Cool. But yeah, very, very cool. I did try him in zone 12, and I think he's solo zone 12. Uh, I won't do Titan Assault for the simple reason it's boring. Uh, and for second layer, there's a bit of a bug at the minute. Uh, they are looking to reduce the time it takes to complete Titan Assault. I'm not too sure how much I can say right now, but they have heard the complaints that it takes too long uh, to slug Titan Assault out, and they are looking to address it. So, some good, good fixes coming to the game. Definitely. Got over three minutes yet, so let's go and do an attack with uh, 
with Scarponok. Time to destroy. Can we see his two star ability? Uh, it's not as good as a three star. <laughs> I'll say that much. Um, uh, Jason Francis, they won't put on Challenge Battle yet because they're not available. They're only just testing. I'm only showing because I sort of showed them on stream, so I can sort of show them a bit, but the values are open to be changed. Well, I think they will be changed, so. I love him shaking his hand. Grrr. I can imagine him just going, you pesky kids, like Scooby Doo or something. <laughs> you pesky kids. He's doing alright there, he's doing okay damage there, that's not too bad. I like that lightning ability. I like that. I think we'd say it's base down with just wow. Six gun and uh Titan zone fourteen. Nice. No, Chris Armand, he didn't say that the new... No, what he said was, he didn't say that the new Titans would be stronger out the gate. What he means is, a level 20 Scorponok will be stronger than a level 20 uh, Metroplex because of power creep. New content should always be slightly stronger. So, But the 8's never really bring out new content that's a lot stronger. So, it'll still keep Metroplex relevant, but Scorponok and Fort Max will be stronger than Metroplex. So, you know... That's just the way things are, sadly. Uh, AC, you can't join the test server. Uh, basically, you've either got to be a content creator, an official content creator, uh, or you have to be um, a playtester. That's the only ways. So when the next second playtest is on, you can apply. Uh, but you have to obviously give your feedback. Or are you going to to get kicked out? I mean, they do have clear out of playtest quite often. Uh, for people that are active, and it, it is hard, you know, it is demanding, it is like a job, you know, you do put, uh, you know, a lot of work into it. Oh, uh, Hector Gambit as well, thanks for subscribing, much appreciated. So, let's put, um, um, I think the eggs will start adding new content creators. I think they want people to get to a certain level before they and regular content before they add those content creators. Uh, back in my day, you had to have a thousand subs, but I know they've reduced that now. Um, but yeah, if you're doing regular content uh, on Earth Wars, then uh, I'm sure they'll. Uh, I've got the wrong thing here. That's there we go. Activate. There we go. No, not activate. I'm looking at it now. Oh, that's why. Wrong one. <laughs> Sign combiner. There we go. There we go. Galvatronus. And then we'll uh, we'll choose the uh, which ability should we choose the uh, the crazy good three star one that I can't see him keeping. There we go. Uh, just to leave, the best thing to do is hit the uh, apes up and ask them. But I know there are content creators out there. Um, oh, look at that cool picture. Um, that aren't in there yet. I know that much. So I'm not too sure. Let's move a bit, a bit closer. Let's take it a bit closer. Eh? See what it does. There we go. Base trial. Well, go no combiner. See what we do. It's just a mismatched team, this affair. So I don't even know what it's going to do, but I just want to see the ability and what it does. And let's have a look at uh, Galvatronus on defense.
Let's see. I'm excited to see what happens here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That ain't going to stay, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest. Wow, that is ridiculous. That can't stay. Wow, it just literally just wiped half my team out. Jesus. Yeah, I can't see that staying. <laughs> Let's change the ability to the four star and get more, more realistic uh, damage what it's going to do. Because that is crazy. Let's have a look. Let's have an actual... Um... Let's have a look. So many cool combiners. Right, okay. Four star builders then. That was crazy. Crazy. Okay, let's go again. This will give us a bit more of an idea. Because I think the four star ability has actually been balanced. So, that will be as it is. That makes sense. That won't change much, I imagine. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. I mean, it is a mismatch of bots. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting much thought into it. But that's a lot of damage on defense. In a big area. That catches all your bots pretty much. Wow. That's impressive. Well. Yeah, I think just elite. I think we have found a new meta of putting Skyrim in the outpost instead of Computron. Crazy. Absolutely crazy damage. But yeah, I'm loving that damage. I mean, it's what he's it's, what it's saying he does. Oh, we got that. Go the other way. Oh, we got that way. Go that way. There you go. So, what's that? 3,264 damage over five seconds. I think it did more than that, didn't it? I don't know. 5,440 damage. Yeah, that was more. Yeah. I don't know. I think Founder Fort is alright. I just need to reduce it in the range a bit or reduce it how many targets. I think. But yeah. Very, very, very cool. Loving him. So uh, let's now have a look at Fort Max. Oops. There we go. Let's take a sneak peek at Fort Max. I thought we'd show the cons first for a change today. <laughs> Let's have a look. Enter the lab. You can see there we've got more Titan effects and stuff there. Oh, no, that's good. It's Metroplex, that's why. There we go. Cool. And there he is coming in. There's Fort Max coming in. Does look very cool. Does look cool in Metroplex. And then lands right on top of the cannon. And squashes it. So, yeah. So... Sort of similar abilities you can see there. Obviously, some of the pictures are a bit different, uh, but yeah, still all the same uh, as the Decepticon one. Let's have a look at him in action. Yep. 
Yeah, there we go. And again, I'm just up a healer down here. I have to heal it to your right after because it's uh, back loaded. And there he is. Fort Max himself. Very, very cool. So here's a two star ability you can see now. That was handy, wasn't it? There we go, and there's a two star ability, look. Yeah, that's nothing like Victorian's Blade. <laughs> it's not like it would be. Like I said, well, we can't do Titan Assault, sadly, because it's really, really bugged. Ah, there we go. Again, super, super cool. Super cool. Don't have three stars take ages to kill each other. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was going to say earlier about my base design. I said, uh, you know, uh, people wondering what I'm sort of doing. So what I wanted to find is people doing sack and doing uh, you know on front loaded bases. I thought I'm gonna switch it around. I'm gonna make a back loaded base to make sack even harder. Because remember when this base used to be around when uh, I had gold fire, I found it quite hard uh, sort of sack this base. And with the added um, mines, then it just makes it that bit hard now, doesn't it? So I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Yeah, again, it's doing well in war currently. I would show you guys, but sadly, my account's down on blue stacks. Uh, but yeah, it's doing well in war at the minute against uh, Darkness Awakens, I think it is. So a decent alliance, you know, and it's, it's doing all right. It's holding up quite a few drops. So uh, yeah, look forward to it. Well, that is it for today's stream, guys. But don't forget before you leave to leak a like, leave a like, grab a deck. Leave a like on the video before you leave, guys, if you liked anything in this stream today. Don't forget to subscribe. I had a couple of subscribers today. Much appreciate everyone that's already subscribed. Much appreciate everyone that subscribed today. But if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, guys, to never miss any more of my content. And don't forget to hit that bell to give you notifications so you can watch it there and then on the live stream. Watch it later. I don't care. Watch it whenever. Whenever you like, guys. Yeah. But hit that uh, subscribe button and hit that notification bell. But don't forget, we're streaming again on Monday. All being well, so long as my account's back on Blue Stacks, I'll let you guys know. But watch out for some more videos coming this weekend. As I've posted in my members chat, there's plenty more videos coming out. So be sure to check them out. But for now, guys, thanks for joining. See you on Monday. Watch out for videos over the weekend. And. Peace out, guys.